out to my first portage. Woo! I was, I don't know, I was just kind of concerned about just getting there. I would think that would be my biggest accomplishment this far is just getting to my first portage. Yay! Go me! put the uh, bell on my barrel at night because I don't want to spend my time at night worrying about whether something's getting at my barrel so when I put the bell on it I can just kind of listen out for it at night plus if I have my dog Banjo here um, she, she'll bark too so uh, it's just kind of like a peace of mind kind of thing that I like to do um, just making myself some breakfast I have the Trangia stove inside my Ho uh, Kelly Kettle Hobo stove. I brought both. I, normally I use the Kelly Kettle because it's fun. Um, I've tried using the MSR Whisper Light and I just, I'm not into it. Um, so the Trangia is such a small little stove and I just put it inside that and I'm, it, my water's almost boiling so that's a really easy option for me. Um, and the wind's picking up today. Uh, I heard it was supposed to be really windy. It was really windy last night. The peg kept coming out of the fly of my tent and blowing the door in into my tent. It was like really gusty. So I had to get up a couple of times and reposition my tent and try and stake it back into the ground. Um, I'm not super comfortable paddling in this because I'm on my own, the water's freezing, um, I'm just using a pack style canoe for the first time, so uh, maybe if it dies down later on in the afternoon then I'll, I'll pack up camp and, and head on to the next one, but if it stays like this, I'm probably just gonna stay here, collect some wood, have a fire, and just um, relax. See, have a really good boil on. Having oatmeal for breakfast and um, definitely some Baileys. I'm not drinking coffee at the moment, so I'm going to have it with hot chocolate.
and a nice healthy dose. So I've decided to name this campsite Moosey Poo site, Moosey Poo. Uh, I have never seen so much moose poo in one place, so I'm just gonna, it's kind of funny, yay, we're gonna look at moose poo, but uh, it, there really is an unbelievable amount. So I pulled in last night, and there's to make camp here um, it's been really gusty really windy and um, yeah I'm just not I'm just not willing to go out and it's also like really cold I think the temperature said it was supposed to be like six today and then with the wind it's it's really chilly um, I've been in my tent for a few hours reading and kind of dozing off and on and I just need to get out and moving just to, to warm up a bit so I'm just going to show you what I brought for food for five days. Um, bear with me while I pull. I still haven't done dishes from this morning. Terrible me. But hey, I'm on my own and I can do whatever I want. So, um, so for lunches I brought... Uh, gluten-free crackers. I pre-sliced some cheese and I wrapped it in um, cheesecloth. And then I also got this. I usually uh, make my own hummus and dehydrate it, but I just, just didn't have time. So I found this um, spicy cheddar bean dip from Alpine Air. And it's the same idea with the hummus. You just add water to it. So if I was having this for lunch, I have a stainless steel container. I'll just pour some in, add some water, and then just let it sit until lunch, and then it's ready for my, my crackers. Um, I also have a couple of um, protein bars in there. Um, what else do I have? Fishing tackle. Um, I have an assortment of oatmeal for breakfast. Uh, I usually do two packets a day just because, you know, you're out moving around or whatever. And then I dehydrated some strawberries to go with it. And then I put my um, my hot chocolate in my breakfast bag too because I have that in the morning with my Baileys. Which is... Here's my Baileys. Um, this is a really cool, it's like a reusable um, garbage bag from Deuter. I got that um, for free, so that's my little, my garbage bag, and then I can empty it at home and then wash it and reuse it. I did bring a couple of uh, ciders with me. Um, I'm probably gonna drink those tonight. I've, I do really wanna have a campfire tonight just because it's so cold, it'd be nice to warm up. These are really cold. Um, so just to get rid of the the weight in my barrel. I should probably drink those up today. And I have an assortment of um, teas with uh, with peach knops. Uh, last uh, when was it? Um, last year we were on a canoe trip in Tamagami and our friend Aton 
brought peach schnapps and we had this like mandarin herbal tea and he heated that up and added this to it and it was so good so i've decided to do the same thing especially with it being cold out so i have uh like a hibiscus orange bill rose hip passion fruit flavored tea and with this it's going to be a really really good hot drink i have a uh, red wine one bottle um i could also this would be good to keep me warm. Maybe I'll just start <laughs> sipping on this shortly. Again, just to reduce some weight in my bag. But uh, I generally always bring a little bit of wine. It's just nice to have it here. Um, I have a pita or gluten-free pizza shells with sauce and pre-shredded cheese. Um, I was gonna have that last night, but I got into camp late and I didn't really have actually didn't ha eat anything last night for dinner so maybe uh, maybe tonight is a good night to have some pizza nice and warm by the fire that'd be really good I have a Mexican lentil stew I dehydrated this a few weeks ago it has red lentils spices uh, cilantro canned tomatoes and um, I'm just just add a bit of water, thicken it up, and then top it with some crushed up um, tortilla or corn chips. I usually like using um, Fritos, but I didn't I just didn't have time, and I brought these because of the bean dip too. So I'll crush some of those up on top. And what else do I have? I made a chickpea uh, uh, chickpea curry and it has lots of a uh, whole pound of spinach in it and chickpeas and spices lots of ginger uh, and I posted the recipe for this on my website this is just one portion of a whole batch that I made and then I bought uh, powdered coconut milk so I can uh, just add the coconut milk when I uh, start making this and then I also have, uh, I call this poor man soup. It's just a bag of, um, a bag of soup mix that has lentils in it, barley, rice, uh, split peas, and I, I uh, caramelize onions in a, in a pot and then I add the lentil mix, can of tomatoes, stock, and it thickens up so I just I just threw that on in the dehydrator and and dehydrate it so that's a, like a thick soup meal. And then as a dessert, um, I took this idea from Chris Prouse. Thanks Chris. Uh, Julia usually makes them when they go camping. I really enjoy their, their videos. It is a uh, usually uses brownies but I brought I bought gluten-free pecan maple soft cookies with marshmallow and a little dollop of peanut butter so if it stops raining and I have a fire maybe I can make uh, one of those for myself tonight so that's it for food um, that's it I don't have anything else and that is definitely more than enough to last me for my five days in here so it's starting to rain. I'm going to uh, get sheltered and, and hide the camera. Thanks. So this is my new sleeping bag. I got the um, Big Agnes Roxy Ann 15 and it's down 
and it's it, they call it like a sleep system because underneath the sleeping bag there's like a like a slip that you can put your sleeping pad into so it doesn't shift like your sleeping bag doesn't shift off the, the sleeping pad and it works really really well I also got a barrel um, it's like a barrel design so it's not as tapered as a mommy style but there's a little bit more room up the feet which I really like because I find that my feet get cold in the, the barrel style and um, the inside is really, really neat. They have these little, maybe it's the, this side here, like this little pad thing. When you close it, it like flips over the zipper so there's no air that gets through. And then around your neck, this, it won't let any air through either. So it's so comfy. And then you can just sell, like seal the nice down. I have like sleeping in my clothes in my sleeping bag. The other thing is that the bottom of the sleeping bag isn't insulated because I guess when you sleep on down or maybe it's other sleeping bags when you compact the insulation it doesn't actually work so they decided to take that out and with, with that the weight of the bag is less and it packs up really small especially if you have a compression bag so this is my pillow and I think it actually packs up smaller than the size of that pillow so it's a really warm sleeping bag it's the Big Agnes Roxy Ann um, 15 degrees Fahrenheit minus 9 Celsius I think and then it has something called down tech which I don't know it's something about waterproofing the or water repellent down I don't know. I put all my stuff in the in my dry bag in there, so it's not really an issue for me. But it is an amazing sleeping bag. I had such a great sleep last night, um, so I've been snoozing a little bit today with it, and um, it's just really cozy and roomy, and and I like that it packs up really small, and I like that it doesn't weigh a lot as much as my other my other sleeping bag. people that I was just wanted to give a shout out to and thank um, that were just really supportive with me coming out here on my own and um, gave me things to help me along the way. So I'd like to thank Randy Mitson from Algonquin Outfitters. He lent me or gave me a canoe to use for the week for free and um, I'm just yeah I'm really really happy about that and I couldn't you know thank him enough that's a really nice thing to do um, I just think that's a really supportive um, gesture on their part and um, I'm, I'm gonna be doing I think a write-up probably on solo canoes um, just from my perspective as a first timer coming out like what how did I what did I pick like for me that was kind of the biggest issue for me it was like how do I paddle out here by myself and I had tried um, taking solo lessons in the, the solo Canadian style and like, I mean, some people do it, but it's, for me, it's really hard to be um, just like sitting the way that you do in that type of canoe. Um, and then plus with like all your gear in it, I don't know, I just, I haven't really tried like, like sitting in it in that way, so. I'm gonna try that out, but for this trip, he did lend, they did lend me a pack style, so this seat is actually like down on the bottom of the, the canoe, and 
the paddle. I use a kayak paddle and I feel more confident doing it in that style because um, I don't know, you're just like lower in the boat with all your stuff and, and I thought I would be really nervous when I started paddling and I actually I wasn't at all so I, that was a huge confident booster, confidence booster so thanks so much um, Algonquin and Fitters for that. Um, I also want to thank Panasonic for lending me a whole bunch of camera gear to try out. I left my camera at home and <laughs> I really hesitated doing that because I'm so used to it but I couldn't bring everything and I knew I really wanted to try this stuff out so I left it at home and it's actually been really fun using the different lenses. I've got a fish eye on right now and that's really fun and I've been using the uh, video, handheld video camera and I have yet to try it. There's like a little tiny one that you can like clip on your your pack or your hat and it, it, it'll, I don't know, I think it kind of works maybe like a GoPro style, like just having it like clip on anywhere. So I really want to thank them for lending me all this, that, that gear. I'm having a lot of fun shooting with it. Um, and I just want to thank all the people that like left comments on my Facebook page about me coming on this trip. Like, I just think that's really cool. And um, I really appreciate all the, the words of encouragement and the advice that you gave me. It really helped me to get myself out here and build more confidence and just know that I'm not an idiot for coming out here by myself. Like, I don't know, someone had said like, oh, you shouldn't go out there by yourself. And it's like, well, why not? Like, why can't I be out here by myself if I have all the skills necessary then like I don't see any problem with that so I just yeah I just want to thank everyone for all the um the comments and and interest and and I really I really appreciate that so thank you so much um thank my husband because he is really cool about me coming out here and uh you know I really miss him and Banj because I always camp with them but it's also fun just you know doing it on my own and seeing that I can do it and just feeling that sense of accomplishment so I just yeah a really big thanks and a big shout out to all you folks and um, yeah you like you really helped me get out here so that's really cool